Anderson, Head of Science at Permanent Academy. Here in Science at Permanent Academy, we are really passionate about our subject. We believe that science is a set of ideas about how the material world works. You, our students, will cover a wide range of topics that not only cover the national curriculum, but a broader scheme. With this, we allow you to develop important skills that are not only important to science, but your whole life. These will include investigation, analysis, evaluating and problem solving. You will cover some very exciting topics here at Hermitage Academy, some of which we will show you a little bit later. You will look at fundamental concepts within science in lots of different ways. You will look at the information and the evidence for them, along with, along with models and how things work. We believe that our study at the Hermitage Academy will allow you to bring science together, both visually and with your knowledge. I look forward to seeing you all. Hi, my name is Mr Jenkins. I'm one of the science teachers here. Science can be split up into three subjects, uh, biology, chemistry and physics. In biology, we study many topics, including plants and reproduction, food chains and ecosystems, and the human body and how it works. We're also going to be zooming into the microscopic world of cells using microscopes like these. In physics, you will cover fundamental topics such as energy, how we generate electricity, circuits, and how we can use them in the classroom. We also look at space and how light, heat, and sound can travel to us in the form of waves. In forces, you will look at how they can impact on object movements and you will also investigate using practicals, common experiments such as how to find out the relationship between the force applied and the extension of an object. In chemistry, you'll learn about particles and how they react with each other, separation techniques and also the periodic table. But here's something you can try at home. It's called Red Cabbage Indicator. You need to chop up a red cabbage, soak it in some hot water, and here's some I made earlier. Here's the pH indicator. It tells us the difference between acids and alkalis, and here it is sitting in just tap water. However, if we add a strong acid, you get a lovely red colour change. If we add something like a weaker acid, like fruit juice or vinegar, there's a slightly pinker colour. If it's just tap water, there's not really much of a colour change at all. But then we're going towards the alkalis, and something like soap is quite alkaline. Add a weak alkaline, and we get kind of a, a bluey colour, purpley colour. And a much stronger alkali, like bleach, you'll get a lovely green colour. Obviously, it's something you can do at home, but make sure you do it with an adult. Um, we look forward to hearing all your questions in the future.